Hey everyone, this is Boys of Urkura. Come back to my channel and if you know, you know what to do. So, today I'm gonna show you how to create drum like a pro in a studio. I'm gonna start with them shakers. Most of the time I use about three, four, five plus shakers. Now I mean, reason being, the more shaker you need, the more shakers you use, the more quality you get via your drums. So the first shaker is gonna sound like this. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna change the tempo, the pitch, my bad, little beat. Then let's check the second one. With this one, I'm gonna change the pitch all up and then decrease the volume here. Third um, shaker. Also with this one, halfway though. Thank God. Fourth shaker. Even this one. So I love to pitch my shakers most of the time. And I'm gonna have something like this. So with this one, I'm gonna put it on number. One. I think this preset there. Yeah. So with this one, let's try now decrease the pitch a little bit. Yeah. So now I have like here. It's a drum loop. So what I'm need, I'm just gonna decrease the tempo here, yeah? decrease the volume here. Yeah? This kind of give me direction, bro, of what I want. So now it's time to draw the drums by myself. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start with a kick, put some hats and stuff like this. Now I mean, okay, let's go to drums. I'm gonna start with a kick, as you know, like do, 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 constant one. And add some claps, yeah. So I'm gonna connect. Okay, so I think it's end up it's ends here. Yeah. So this one I'm gonna go all the way up. Ka ka ka. No break. And then we get her heads. Gonna go straight like. Tss. I love that. And then it comes back like. But the, the clap is too hard, so I'm just gonna delete it for now. I don't want something hard here. So I'm gonna put a percussion. A and then I'm gonna have something like. Then we're gonna have some head there. Yeah. Then some tom here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now? I love what I'm hearing. I'm just gonna consider this everything here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna pitch my drums, uh, all the way out, decrease the volume here. And then I'm gonna do the kick here, a little bit, and it's a clap. Even the song. And then delete this one also. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna add another um, drum loop just to finish the sounds here. So I'm gonna add Kelvin Momo drum loops. Um, this one will do. But then I'm gonna add a pitch on this one also because I don't want like everything to sound too original. 
half pitch, decrease the volume also. Okay, this one like doesn't sound good. Okay, now we have something like this. And then we can try like to add some chords maybe. So I'm just gonna use a MIDI for a chord to save time. Okay, answer set. I don't trust the minutes that I have, so... Just gonna use any MIDI. Now I don't see my drum kits. Where are my drum kits, guys? Thinking Let me just say MIDI. This MIDI is a work, bro. Okay. This meat is a work, damn. Yeah, guys. So I did. I hope you did uh, learn something from this video. If you didn't learn something from this video, you know what to do. By the way, thank you for watching, and I'm out. Bless up.